Next up is a way to save every last drop of a precious resource. Hi, I'm Nikki Ramsey and I'm from West Lafayette, Indiana. And I'm here seeking $100,000 for 10% equity in my company. Sharks, when I became a mom and started breastfeeding, I was going through thousands of these single-use plastic storage bags to give my baby white gold. Mm -hmm. I wanted a better way to store my breast milk. And I knew it wasn't just me that felt this way. After countless attempts at trying to store my breast milk, I was left with white gold leaking <gasps> all over the place. Oh, yeah. Precious gold, sharks! Mm -hmm. So, instead of the five ounces that I needed, I was only left with two. I literally cried over spilled milk. <laughs> <laughs> I needed to Been create in. a safe, effective, and space-saving storage option for all mamas out there. Sharks, no more crying over spilled milk because now you have Janobi, a revolutionary, plastic-free, and reusable breast milk storage bag of its kind. Janobi is eco-friendly, made using 100% food-grade silicone, and stands the test of time. Unlike other products out there that have no lines or measurements and can't stand upright, our patent-pending product is specifically made with your baby in mind. I'm on a mission to bring Janobi to parents everywhere for the future of our planet and for the future of our children. So if you want your milk fresh, fresh <laughs> as can be, then you have to try Janobi. <laughs> Sharks, in front of you are your very own Janobi products to try out and test for yourselves. So, do you just slide this off? Yes. So, so it comes nice with and cold. a yes. Okay. It comes with a, a slider in order to make sure that the breast milk stays secure because silicone is a very soft material and it has to have something a little bit Dickie, hard to keep it closed. How do you wash it? So it's dishwasher safe. Um, it's high heat tolerant. I have to say this particular slider is very easy to put on, which I didn't expect to be put on, and Absolutely. very secure as it slides into place. It stands on its own. Absolutely. So well, no. not really. <laughs> so you are, you are so not getting she's hired. She's already not doing the demonstration <laughs> right. So Barbara brings up a great point. They can stand upright, or if you compress them and squeeze all the air out, they have the capability to lay flat because moms, we all know, they like to freeze their breast milk. Of course. Just for later use. How did you come up with this? So I was a traveling therapist, just returned from maternity leave. I had a baby, of course, and he had a tongue tie, lip tie, and oh, wow. um, it's like a medical condition. And he was nursing a lot. As a result of his nursing, my body thought, okay, I need to produce more milk. And I was going through thousands of these single use plastic breast milk bags. I went to the marketplace to look for something that was a reusable product, specifically made for the size of breast milk, which typically women store in four to six ounces. And I couldn't find anything, of course, like it because it didn't exist. So I started working on it and I tapped into a need, honestly, that, that I did not know existed. Incredible. Okay, how much? They retail at $34.99 for the four pack and our two pack retails at $19.99. Okay, and what does it cost you to make the four pack? The four pack landed is at around $7.80 and our two pack landed is around $4. Okay, good margins. I was just going to say, I love this part. I breastfed both of my children, but both of my children were born very early. So the breast milk like that hasn't kind of kicked in yet becomes like gold. But what I want to understand is like what your competition is. Who else is doing this? So Janobi launched uh, November 2019. Within six months, unfortunately, we did have some, uh, some knockoffs come in the market. And the knockoffs, they can't compare to Janobi. One of our competition, they have a bag and literally you can take the bag and just squeeze it open and the milk just spills out. Ooh. What are your sales? Our sales for this year to date have been $86,000. Did you light up Amazon yet? So we were on Amazon, but because we have an inventory crisis, I'll say, we diverted our sales from Amazon to our website so we can retain more of our money. So you're not on Amazon now? Not on Amazon Well, now, but she currently. said something more interesting. You said you didn't have enough inventory to keep right. up because... So, since we've been self-funding ourselves pretty much with money that comes into the company, um, we would... So you it. needed to have money come in before you could buy. Exactly, What's your yes. lead time for the manufacturing? Six weeks. Nikki, I want to hear a little bit more about you. I grew up in a very non-traditional household as a teenager. I experienced um, homelessness. One night while I was sleeping on this abandoned apartment floor, 
I thought to myself, there has to be a way out of this generational cycle, this generational curse of poverty. Mm. And thankfully, I told my school counselor what was going on with me. And she was able to connect me with this homeless shelter. And they let me stay there until I finished my academics. And then I went on to college and graduated. College and graduate school, it's a blessing and a miracle that I'm standing here right now. You'll never give up. Great what story. What a fabulous story. Talk to us a little bit more about the business. You said you've done 86,000 in sales this year, but what are you projecting for the rest of the year? And I'm assuming the main reason you're here talking to us is because you don't have the money to fund your production. Is that right? Yes. So we are projecting $300,000 in sales by the end of this year. Wow. Amazing. Do you have them in stores? We were working with a broker to get us in retail. But when you work with a broker, it can get a little expensive. Yep. And yep. with the pandemic, we thought that it was better to take the money that we were giving the broker and put it back into our inventory. All right, so when I, when I do a deal on Shark Tank, I like to get my hands dirty in the product. Okay. Um, <laughs> and it's true because I, I try and tell a story about it to my millions of followers. But obviously this is a disconnect for me. I mean, I haven't been worrying about breast milk too much lately. <laughs> I mean, I, I think you're terrific. I wish you the best, but I'm out. Thank you, Kevin. Yeah, I'm kind of in the same boat. Congratulations on your success. The, the road you've taken to get where you're at, I mean, it's incredible and you deserve so much credit, but this is certainly not my wheelhouse. So for those reasons, I'm out. Thank you, Mark. You're welcome. Well, after 13 seasons, you know, it is hard to say that you're not going to go in on a deal when you really love an entrepreneur. You're unbelievably impressive. I think you're fantastic. You saw a need, you had a problem, you created a solution. But I don't think that this is the right business for me. I wish you good luck. I'm out. Okay, thank you, Lori. Mm -hmm. thank you, you know, Nikki, I really, really like you. I love your story and I love where you're at right now. I think it's incredible. I think that the businesses that do really well right now are those that have a purpose and that can really, you know, get an audience and speak to a very, very specific audience. And I love the fact that this is a sustainable product and that you've got a real clear market. So I'm actually gonna make you an offer. I think that you are at the beginning of the journey. You're gonna need a lot of help. So I'm going to give you the 100,000, but I think I need 25% of the business. That's my okay. offer. May I hear other offers? <laughs> <laughs> You're so nice. Nikki, I would I mean, like to hear you your offer. You have an offer right here, so I'll just, you know, I'm just raising my hand. You never know, you know. She this might change her right, mind. The offer's here, I'm ready to roll. That's a great offer. Let me just tell you, I would have given the same offer 25%, so I wish you luck on that. Nikki, what do you want to do? You. Would you do 150,000 for 12%? Whoa. Whoa. Wow. Nikki. No. No, Nikki. Whoa. Right, here's Don't the thing. Don't over-negotiate. Everybody here has dropped out, so I'm your only hope right now, right? I'm just gonna tell you how it is, because what you need right now is so much. I can help you, but I think that my offer is pretty fair. Look, you're still gonna own 75% of it. Right. So yeah, when this blows up, you're that. still gonna be rich. I'll give you the other side of that. 25% is a hefty slice. Yes. I'm sure is. you got to where you were trusting your instinct and making your own judgments. And from the way I see it, you've done pretty well. So you might go into your own self and ask you how that fits. Well, I wasn't looking at giving up that much equity um, out of our company just yet. Would you do $100,000 at 15% equity. Oh, oh. I'll do $100,000 at 22.5. Final offer. Um, that is a lot of liquid gold spilling. <laughs> we were not looking at giving up that much equity. You can definitely walk back out of that door and you can spend the next few years trying to accelerate this business or you can work with me and do it a hell of a lot quicker. But you know, it's your choice. Wow. You got a deal. Wow. Oh my goodness. You know how many mums I know? We're gonna kill this thing. I'm excited. <laughs> <laughs>